Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make some delicious chilaquiles. In case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 15 corn tortillas, oil, your choice of cheese, 5 Roma tomatoes, jalapeno or serrano chile peppers, chile arbol, 1 quarter of an onion sliced into moons, 2 garlic cloves, a quarter teaspoon of whole cumin, a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, and salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to start by making our tortilla chips. So we're going to start by cutting our tortillas into small triangles. So cut it in half. And then cut them in half again. And then start cutting once again. Okay, so once we have a little pie, we're going to do it to all of our tortillas. And I just stack them into two piles. And just go like that. All right guys, so once we have our little triangles, now we're ready to fry them. So we're going to grab a frying pan. We're going to set it on medium heat. And we're just going to add our oil. So just make sure that you add enough oil to cover your tortilla chips. Okay, so we're just going to wait for that to heat up and then we can begin frying. All right, so once our oil is hot, we're going to cover our oil with our tortilla triangles. Okay, so now we're just going to fry them until they turn into a beautiful golden color. All right, so as we have our tortilla chips, we're going to remove them from the oil. Just make sure you drain the excess oil. All right, we're just going to repeat the process to all of our tortillas. All right guys, so once we have all of our tortilla chips, now we're going to make our salsa. So we're going to roast our tomatoes, our chile serranos, or jalapeños, garlics, and the chile de arbol. So for the chile serranos and the chile de arbol, is going to be on, depending on how spicy you want it. So I'm just going to add two jalapeños and six chile de arbols. So I'm just going to wait until I remove all of this before I place my chile de arbol. All right, so once everything is done, now we're just going to turn it off. We're going to transfer everything into our blender cup. Okay, so now place your chile de arbol and lightly toast them. So just be careful because they do burn fast, so you don't wanna burn them. Otherwise your sauce is going to be bitter. Okay. All right, so once we have that, now we are ready to make our sauce. All right, so we're going to add our cumin, our ground black pepper and salt into our blender with the rest of our ingredients. And now we're just going to blend everything together until we have a smooth salsa. All right, so once we have our salsa, now we are ready to make our delicious chilaquiles. All right, so now I'm just going to grab a small frying pan. I'm going to set it on medium heat. And I'm just going to grab about two tablespoons of the same oil that we use to uh, fry our tortillas. Or you can transfer all of the oil and just use that same pan. All right, so I'm just going to wait for that to heat up a little bit so we can throw in our onions. All right, so once our oil is hot, we're going to add in our onion. And we're just going to fry them for a couple minutes. All right, so after a couple minutes, we're going to add in our salsa. Into my blender cup, I'm going to add about a quarter cup of water. So now we're just going to mix it. And we're going to wait for it to come to a simmer. All right, so once it begins to simmer, let it simmer for two minutes. And then also try it for salt and see if it needs any. And if it does, right now is the time to add it. All right, so after a couple minutes, we're going to add in our tortilla chips. And just carefully start mixing it with the salsa.
Now, if you don't want your tortillas to turn soggy, um, turn up the heat so like that, you know, you still have the little crunch. So now just make sure everything is nice and coated with the salsa. And also, if you want your salsa to be more runny, um, then you can go ahead and add some more water. But for me, this is perfect. All right, so at this point, I am going to turn off the heat. So just make sure that all your tortilla chips are nicely spread. All right, so now I'm just going to cover my tortilla chips with the cheese. And I just cut into small cubes. You can always shred it if you wish. That's all your preference. And for me, the more cheese, the better. So now I'm just going to cover it and let the heat melt the cheese. Meanwhile, we can work on our huevos if you want to serve it with um, eggs. All right, so once our cheese has melted, now we are ready to enjoy our delicious chilaquiles. And I'm just going to serve them with some beans. and some fried eggs. Okay, so now we're ready to enjoy. All right, so I'm just going to top it with some crema. Some queso fresco. I'm gonna put some queso fresco in my beans too. And some avocado. Alright, so now we are ready to enjoy our delicious chilaquiles. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I am ready. Too hot. Mm. Seriously, it's super delicious. The salsa is perfect. For me, it's not spicy, but I always, of course, you get to adjust it to your liking, and you can always serve it with whatever you want. But this is so fast, so easy, and so delicious. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious chilaquiles. I hope you guys started watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.